on the bench today I have a Sirwin Vega A400. Bought it and uh, he tested it out. He said it was working, but he says it's not working properly. He wants me to open this up. He wants me to check the capacitors, uh, do a bias check, and uh, what else that I can find along the way. So I told him to look at it. And uh, here it is. Uh, right uh, off the bat, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see if it's working through my dim bulb. I'm not sure if my dim bulb is gonna take this. Probably not. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm just not gonna plug this in. I'm just gonna open this up and see and find inside. And uh, we're going to do that right now. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody was in here already because there's like wires that are spliced on here. There's four fuses. There's a few capacitors on this board. The size of the transformer. Man. <laughs> Look at these capacitors. They're 13,000 13, microfarad at 100 volts. Now there is a fan here. Hopefully that fan is working. But first things first, I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a lot of dust in here. I'm gonna bring it out into the garage and uh, we'll dust this out. I'm kind of allergic to dust. And uh, I'm gonna start sneezing here in a minute if I don't do that. Okay, so we'll put you on pause. Okay, we're back. Got the dust all out of there. See if I have any voltage on my capacitors. be able to check this out. There are some fuse here that I'm going to check though. Fuses are okay. You guys can see my meter. You should be able to. And this is what I should get. I should get the needle all the way up testing this big cap and I do this this is a good cap so, so these caps are good This is my relay and this board. I don't know how much voltage I'm supposed to have with this, but uh, I'm gonna be checking some of these capacitors on here. So I will. Let's go. 
there are a couple of capacitors on here. There's one, two, three, four. There's a resistor here that's quite discolored. Uh, let's see what we've got back here. Actually, mark them with a marker. So we'll go this way here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but so I'll go. way it's just going to be a lot easier when I'm, I'm to put this back together. There we go. Oh, this board is out. There's a lot of voltage here, I believe. Let's see what this capacitor says. This is 2.2 at 100 volt, 2.2 at 100 volts. Okay, so we'll, tech, we'll check these capacitors. This has got 16 ohm. This capacitor is no good. We'll try it again, but... I don't know if you guys can see that, but this orange one has a lot of ohms resistance on this one. So there's two other ones here. One up here. Let's try this one. This one is half decent. One ohm. Is good and we'll try the green one. Alright, I'm gonna need a helping hand here. Well this is it right there. Okay this one is good as well. So all there's four capacitors in all and the orange one is giving me a bad reading. And of course, I'm gonna clean this a little bit. Uh, there's this capacitor that's discolored. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I will be testing these, uh, not capacitor, sorry, resistor. And uh, I'm gonna open this relay and we'll check it over. Now let's test this out of circuit. It's at 10 ohm, possibly 12 ohm. So I'll try this resistor here. Something like that should work. So I uh, I found out 
from the picture that this was the minus on this side, so we should be good. I'll bend these for good measurements. Make sure that they are good polarization, because I'm going to tell you, this is 100 volts. You will blow this capacitor to pieces. Now, this is the one that I want to get out. baby Look how dark it is here and I'll test that this will tell me if there's any ohm resistance on us the ESR it's either high or low so my ESR is working perfectly but watch when I touch the 47 microfarad. Open. So this is a 47 at 16 volts. I'm going to put 25 volts. As long as I have the same value, which is 47, I can go up. So I'll 47 at 50 volts and, I have to... and the polarization is marked on this one which is pretty good so this is the positive side so all I'm going to do is bent these so they don't come out and those are the three caps that I'm going to solder. There you go. Those three caps are being replaced. And this is a 2.5k ohm resistor that I'm going to change as well. And I'm afraid that it may any moment could let go so this is the resistor right here I'll replace that can see how this thing is heated up pretty good and uh, sometimes it's hard to, to tell what color you have but uh, if you go on the uh, circuit board it's the resistor 426 and the resistor 426 is uh, right here can see it but this is the resistor 426 and it's a 2.7 k ohm which I'm gonna get I do I don't have a 2.7 hmm I'm do my homework on that resistor I'll make sure that I have Half an ohm, 2.7. Okay, it's a one watt though. Yeah, they're asking for a one watt, and all I have is half a watt. So that could be an issue. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to work on the relay. 
And uh, so I kind of made one of these. See if it's working. Okay, so it it's up. So I'll keep the force up to this end because it's up already. I don't want it to slide back in place. And I'll try to get this one on the side. And there. That kind of worked well. All right, let's check the relay contacts. That's what I want to do. So pull, pull this away and then pull it up. Should work. Oh, it's pretty dirty. Even on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but what I'll do is I'll use a uh, a light sandpaper yeah. this is just going to sit on top here okay been cleaned. What I'm going to do is, I've noticed that there's a few cracks on this and I'm going to show this to you. Okay, I'm going to clean this board out and we'll see if there's any of these that I need to retouch. I think there's one here that uh, kind of looks pretty bad. Let's do this one. Okay. Okay, now that uh, I've installed my board, I'm going to power it on and see if it's actually working. And there it is, it's working. The relay clicked in, the fan's running. So now I'm able to check my voltage. I need uh, that fan is going to be in the way, no way. So, auto by filter capacitors I am getting 82 volts so I'm pretty sure that I'm getting 82 volts out of my output transistor I'll get the other two back here. All 
Okay. These are the output transistors. Uh, the heat paste behind it looks really, really dried up. Anyways, I'll turn it on and it, it I'm going to tell you, it does make a loud noise because of the fan. I'm not sure if you guys are going to really like that too much, but I just want to check my output. Got a relay clicked in. Got it on DC voltage. Okay, we'll start with this one. 82. This is my minus. This is all minus. And this would be my plus. Everything here seems to be working. Okay. So 82 volts on my output. Got 82 volts out of my filter capacitors. Everything seems to be working fine. Okay. So what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this board out. And while I'm doing this, I'll put you paste on these. Uh, just to make sure that they're all up to par. I think that's the best thing to do. And uh, I'll be able to check the soldering on each of the amp board. And uh, if there's any capacitors, I'll definitely take a look at them. And, you know what, I don't think there's going to be much to do. I will have to touch base with these wires. I don't really care for this too much. <laughs> and these are coming from the fan. I believe the fan may have been changed. There is a great big capacitor back here. That I would love to check as well and I will be able to but anyways that's it for today it's a beautiful day outside and I'm going for a bike ride and uh, we'll continue on maybe later on tonight I don't know what we're gonna be doing tonight it's Saturday night so uh, okay so we'll continue on another time Okay guys, before I start working on the amp boards, I wanted to see what the, the bias would be like before I touch anything. And uh, right now it's warming up, so, but it's, and it's always climbing. So I'm at 38 millivolts. Okay, I've got it up there at millivolts. And uh, according to the manual, I shouldn't have uh, anything higher than 22 to 28. So I would say between that would be 25 millivolts. So according to this, this is a little high. And uh, we'll check the other channel now. All right, these are the pins that they're asking me to connect my probe. So I'm doing just what they want me to. And now this is the right channel. I'll get you the, I'm showing about 38. So they're quite a, kind of even on each side, just a little on the high end. So we'll, we'll, we will adjust this uh, once I've worked on these amp boards, okay? So I'll shut this off. I know the fan is always on, which is, Kind of a panic it is what it is i wanted to show you the output transistors before i touch them just wanted you guys to see this okay here's my little lamp and uh, i found that the 
cooling paste that's on there it's really dry it's dried up what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this board off and I'll probably repaste all these there's eight on each side so this is only the left if I flip uh, flip this around this is the right channel and even the right channel it's it's pretty bad eh? the paste is really dried up I'm not sure I, th I think it's a good idea to get that you know serviced again I'll uh, I'll just take those off it won't take me long to do that and there's also this these two boards are the ones that I'm going to be touching and uh, there is one capacitor on here that I'll be checking as well okay and then I will retouch these this is I think these are the fan wire I'll reconnect those with some heat sink it'll it'll look better anyway all right so we're gonna continue on Okay, so this is hoping, I'm hoping this is going to give me access. See this cap right there, I want to check that. But look at the, look at this, this is really, really filthy. And that's why I'm thinking I really need to take... These off like the, look at the dust on this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but look the dust on this is really thick. Eh? I did uh, blow some uh, some air on this, but it didn't take it all off. Eh? I'm gonna continue on with this. Before I do anything with them, this is going to be one, two, three, four, and I'll put this right, right, three left, and four left. This way here, I know exactly where they go. and I'll be able to check the soldering to this board and I'll be able to clean it as well it's how dirty this is it's unreal look at the dirt it's this capacitor that I'm going to be able to check okay here I got a piece of wood here that that's going to help me support this board okay there we go It's about, it's less than one ohm, so it's still good. 
but uh, these resistors as well, they're, they should be good. I'm going to clean that out. Okay, I just redid this side. Now I'm going to do this side. I'm putting new paste. I've cleaned it out the best that I could. And uh, I'm going to put some new paste and I'm going to put all the output transistor back in place. And then, okay, that's how I do it. I just cleaned it out. And these are really thick. I really like those. They're insulators. And they go only one way. Once you squeeze, you don't you don't put a lot of these that paste. Once you put this in, I mean it squeezes all over and, and I make sure that I've I squeeze it before I put it in. And I have, you know, this that I've marked them, eh? So this is the one left. So like I said, I, I usually squeeze it out. And the hardest part of it is to try to get, try to find that hole. Oh my goodness, I got it the first time in this one. As you tighten us, it squeezes out and it evens it out. So that's why you don't want to put too much in it because it's just going to make a big mess. Okay, so there's one that's already put in. It's really messy when these gloves come in handy. And it's really not too tight, eh? Just evenly and that's it. Here's number four. How dry it was on that paste was really dried up. So I figured that it since I was taking it out of there to check, uh, there was actually there was only one capacitor and I checked it and it was good. So now this one's got a little crack in it. I want to throw it out. So you want to make sure that there's no cracks in these at all, right? So you, you do have to visualize these things. There we go. That is such... squeezes right out and it evens it out which I really like then you don't have a great big mass you know and if there are some left then if you really want to you can clean it out or you, you can actually leave it 
that way, but <clears throat> so I had it all numbered, so one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four, and I had this on the left and this is on the right, so I'm good with that. And this is the silicone cooler paste. I got this on Amazon. I've had this a couple of years now. Um, but I do need to order another one. So now I need to put this board onto here. Uh, this is the capacitor that I checked and it's it's good. Uh, it's less than one ohm so I'm not even going to change it. Okay here's the left side all put back together. Uh, I've taken all these output transistor out and I clean all the paste that was all dried up and I put some new paste now what I want to do is what everybody should do anyway be, when you uh, take these output transistor out of there you want to make sure that they're not touching the heat sink so And I don't and you don't want to hear anything here this is this needs to be free from the heat sink so everything is good on that part well, I'm ready to look how clean it is came out pretty good it was filthy and this is ready to go back on the side Okay, I just finished the left channel and I'm going to power it on, see if it's turning on. And the relay clip then, so it's, everything is working as it should. Nice clean output transistors. I've retouched some of the soldering on this board as well and uh, that was it, cleaning it because it was filthy dirty. It looks really nice on the inside. Okay, so now I'm going to do this channel. Okay, I'm at the bias stage right now. And that's what I want to do. I want to check the bias in... Uh, According to this manual, setting the bias, I need to connect my multimeter on the output. These points uh, can be found on the yellow and the red wire on the three pin Molex. Okay, so this is the Molex that they're talking about. There's one on each channel, there's one here, and one here. Right now, I'm, I'm going to do the left. So I'll zoom you guys in on this. So this is the left channel. And uh, this is the three pin connector that they are talking about. So if you pull this out, there we go. Put this away for now. So those are the three pins and they're talking about the red and the yellow wire and these are the wires that they're talking about from this end so one of them is on the yellow is on the is the first one and the red one is the last one so what i'm going to do it's pretty simple hook one of my probes to third one and the first one 
So, man, my probe didn't stay. I need to get some new clips for this. I truly do. And I'll set my multimeter. I'll bring you guys back a little bit. There we go. And I need to power this on. It's off because it's making so much noise, the fan is on. So I wanted to explain to you guys without the noise first, anyway. I've set my probes on the right pin. Uh, they want me to read 22 to 28 millivolts. That's the reading that they want me to set it with, okay? Now, just take note that this has already been set. When I was setting it, the light was reflecting on my multimeter and you couldn't read that. So that's, you know, it's something that was important for me that you guys could see that. Okay, so now the only thing left to do is turn this power this on. And you'll have to excuse the noise. And the, the warm-up period is about 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm going to let that warm up. Keep an eye on the multimeter, which is measuring in millivolts. Right now, we're doing the left channel, okay? Okay guys, there you have it, 13, 14 minutes into the warm-up period, and I don't see this thing moving at all. It's pretty much set at 25.2, and this is what I had it set at. It was at 25, so uh, the left channel, I just, this is just a video to, to uh, so you guys can actually see what I've, what I've done. And I'm gonna get you a little closer as well, because I want you to see uh, the trim pod where where it's situated and it's right below the 15 pin if you guys can see that I'm going to zoom you guys in there's the the trimmer pod right there you'll see I put a little bit of glue in it and it also says there's a warning sign on there there's 15 pins here they're high voltage so be careful you know if you're setting this the, how I've done it I've done it with gloves and uh, I just used my fingers because it was right there there it is it's set at 25.3 and it's been 15 almost 16 minutes so I'd say the warm-up period is is okay pin number three and this one is showing 26 okay so I don't have to adjust none of this it's the left and the right channel bias is set to what they wanted it to be okay we have uh, some connection issues that the guy told me that he has so I'm gonna take this board out Pretty flimsy I don't know if this is supposed to be the way it's supposed to be but we'll take a look at it Okay, I can see the issue here. This is really loose. 
This is just about to break as well, eh? I'll bring you guys closer. So the ground is not being connected, that's why he has to move it around. But the, this bottom one here is, is almost ready to go. So I'll fix this. This should come off. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> I've repaired these two. They were really flimsy at first, so now they're pretty sturdy. And I had to resolder uh, one of these. I forget which one now, but I had to drill bigger holes for them to go through. But I believe that they're pretty sturdy now. Okay, so I'm going to put this back together. need to go fishing now for the flimsy one in the back there that's through the hole this is through the hole just need to get the other one on I'll, I'll see if these uh, connections are actually working if my mono jacks and the RCA jacks has good connections since I've repaired them okay so we will do a continuity which is I'll test ground first
So these four are hooked up to ground. That one there is working. Those are called the mono jocks and these are the RCA jacks right above them. There's one and there's two. Okay, so the mono jacks and the RCA jacks are have really good connection so that shouldn't be an issue with this anymore. Okay. Okay, now that the bias has been set, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about this. There's a big transformer that weighs about 10 pounds. These big filter capacitors uh, were tested and they work well. I had an issue with the uh, protective board. And three capacitors I had to change. One resistor. I've cleaned the relay. Right down there, you'll see my rectifier where everything is changed from AC to DC. Clean all of these. The output transistors has been taken out and uh, repaste again. Okay, guys, the Serwin Vega is ready to go back. This was a fun project. Showed you everything that I've done on a video. Anyways, if you like my video, thumbs up. Leave me some comments and uh, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you.